now it's 7.35 and we are currently at Starbucks. All right guys, so we just got back from just getting our Starbucks. Um, it's 7.50 right now. We have to take an exam for accounting at 8 a.m. And so we're about to do that. It's gonna take us probably like two hours because it's 40 questions. Two hours? Well, it said 75 minutes. Holy frick. But see how that goes and we'll talk to you guys after the test. I had the worst experience of my life last night. I'm oh. not even kidding. Okay, so I go to bed, right? I go to bed fine at like 10. I actually went to bed earlier than I expected. I was like really, really tired. Uh -huh. And sleep. like I was just like, you know, like you get up and your body's like won't let you go back to sleep on 4 30 and not making this I'm not making this up. So I'm going I'm laying down. Okay. I like I close my eyes and I'm like, okay I'm getting tired like I want to go to sleep But all of a sudden like I feel like my whole body go like numb like Not numb to where it's like like I can't move like my I my all my arms fall asleep. like it felt like all everything in my body was asleep You know when your muscle like your arm falls asleep. What the hell? So then I'm like, why can't I open my eyes? And so I'm like, I'm screaming, Hannah. And you can't scream. I can't scream. So I turn to the left side, and I'm like so tired, like getting exhausted. It's like five o'clock at this time. I'm, it happened worse. I I thought I was having a heart attack. I'm like, I'm having a heart attack, Hannah. I'm having a heart attack. Like I can't. And I and she didn't hear me. Like I, it was the scariest thing of my freaking life. I thought I was having a heart attack or stroke. And so then I was so nervous to going back to bed. Like I got, I, I, I probably had like three and a half hours of sleep because I was so scared. Mom, I literally was like praying to God. I'm like, God, please don't like, don't let me die. Like, please, if this is a heart attack, like, please. Like I was praying to God. Like I literally thought that I was about to die. I'm not kidding. Like, okay. I know I sound like super dramatic here, but I'm telling you guys, if anyone has ever experienced this, you guys will get what I'm feeling right there. All right. It was fresh, but. It was sleep paralysis. If you guys were confused on what I was talking about, that's what it was all about. It was my little experience I had the night before this. Alright guys, so right now it's like 11 o'clock. We just finished our test. Didn't go too hot, but <laughs> really nice outside. Like 60 with the UV index of like 4. So we just come... <laughs> Any type of ray. We're out here. <laughs> so we just come and like just sit by the pool and try to get like a little bit of tan. Honestly, it's good just to like be outside too. Yeah, it just like helps, you know? We're gonna go shoot with our coach before shoot around to get like extra shooting in at 12.30. So we have like an hour and 15 outside. So we got the lights today. Nice looking threads. And now we got a little snack section. Some cheeses. I usually go with protein bars, oranges. I'm usually applesauce. I'm gonna go with cheeses. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's These are the kids tonight. All red from sitting in the sun. So hopefully that turns into a tan. For 29 minutes until I shoot around. You can put Shane in. I cannot because if you guys weren't aware, I did break my thumb like two weeks ago. My right thumb. So it's been a struggle uh, to figure out like how to shoot and stuff when it's taped up, but. I'm getting the hang of it to get surgery or anything after a season as long as I don't like move it or fall on it again so I just have to be pretty careful uh, I have to stay in a brace for four weeks and then I have to tape it in a splint for the rest of the season so it's my first injury it's pretty crazy you guys if you're curious of what I'm why I have taping on my thumb um, other than that we will see you guys after shoot around Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how I make my protein oats before, we always eat like, we always eat oatmeal before games. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do mine. It's really amazing and tastes like a peanut butter cookie. Dear Soupy, 
oatmeal grill, such as Haley. I don't know how, because thick oats, some thick oats are good, really good. So I don't really try to wear a lot of makeup for the game because my face has been breaking out a lot because of the mask, I think. But I'm just going to show you guys what I do. I just do my eyebrows and then I don't try to put heat on my hair as well. So I just, I'm going to go with a wavy pony and that's the typical. So now I'm just going to unbraid. Little right side pony, and that is what my game here looks like today, boys. I want to talk to you guys because we didn't really talk to you guys, but playing UNLV today. It's a really big game. It is our last um, regular season games of the season, so we play them today, which is Thursday, and then we play them on Saturday. We really need to get a sweep <laughs> this weekend because in order for us to get a chance to be number one in the conference, so. These are really big games and all week on them. I'm about to head over to Save Mart right now to do our pregame game stuff. Can't. Be too upset about it, but you've got two really good defenders in this game. And look at that move by Hannah Cavender. That's such a good one. Oh, Haley there. Cavender just makes it look so easy getting for a screen. Comes around the screen, pulls up for three, and gets it to go. Haley Cavender, have yourself. Hey guys, uh, it is the next day. We just filmed a TikTok. Get out and follow us if you haven't. Fortunately, lost last night versus UNLV. They're a really good team. Uh, it was a really, really close game. It came down to. A last, a last second possession and unfortunately it didn't go our way. It just sucks because our la our only losses in the conference have been by like two points. So so we are probably not going to win the regular season champions. We are probably be second or third going into the tournament. So I have one more game for them and on Saturday it is senior night. So we have a day break. We have like practice and film. Um, and then, yeah, we just finished our class too at 8 a.m. So we just had a little bit of a busy morning, but now we're just chilling. Film at 1.45. Just got done with Omen practice. It's five o'clock now, and Hen and I are gonna go uh, sit outside at this restaurant to get some dinner, because we're hungry and don't feel like cooking tonight. And we will show you guys what we get. All right, this is our food. Good morning, you guys. It is currently like 10 o'clock. Uh, we have to leave early to get gas, and then we're gonna stop and we grab some coffee, and then we have extra shooting and shoot around again before today's game. Tonight is senior night, so we will show you guys how we like decorate the locker room. Gotta blow up the two and the four, cause that's what like. <laughs> This looks cute as shiz. got done getting ready and eating some um, food. We only had like 30 minutes because we had to decorate uh, we tall's locker room, but it is game time and we are heading over there. Huh? What? Why you, why you play a fool like that? Why you move like that? You say, well, messy, I say me. She said, well, messy, I say me. She said, well, messy, I say me. From my age, she said that she's getting colder. I could have shown you, you know that You ain't no competition, but I don't think you wanna do that I'm going on, someone in my circle started leaking on my song I'm a state Haley Thomas, a defensive player of the year last season. There's mid range for Hannah, or Haley Cavender rather, and Haley knocks it down. See Keely Brown into the action, finds Hannah, and oh. Oh, they get it again. Ali Gomez jumps the passing lane, and that one's up and in. Hannah Cavender, a career high 28. Okay, guys, so it is the next day. We didn't vlog after the game because unfortunately we lost um, within a buzzer beater shot once again, so it kind of sucks. Last game of the regular season. But what this means, this game, that game was like really important. That's why I kind of hurt because it was going to secure us, I'm pretty sure, in the second spot. But now we might be the fourth spot at worst in the third spot. 
um, going into the Mountain West tournament, which we are leaving on Saturday. We have to regroup and refocus because basically a new season starts next week. So doing it just this season has been so many ups and downs because of COVID. Um, unfortunately, the Mountain West came out uh, and said that they were not allowing to have families at the tournament, which is another thing you just have to brush off your shoulder, which sucks because we know we've seen a lot of other conferences have came out and they are allowing um, some fans, but it's out of our control. Just like Hannah said, we have a lot to work to do, but we still believe that we can win it. And the next time we vlog, you guys will be seeing what we do um, during that whole week there in Vegas. So make sure you guys like and subscribe if you have not, and we will see you guys next.